do several science experiments in our day-to-day -day life, even without realizing it. These are very essential for a student, as it proves the presence of a factor or give us information in a really fun way. Good morning to one and all present here. I am Aditi Kashyap from class 7A and today I am going to present some science experiments before you. So here we are separating colors through paper chromatography. We have taken color combinations created by mixture of primary colors. It shows beautiful patterns and we can use them for decorative purposes such as in making flowers. Wow, isn't science amazing? Back into an exciting rocket. Heat makes the air inside the tea bag less dense than the air outside of it. This creates a convection current that lifts ash from a burning tea bag and sends it upwards flying. Zoom! So I hope you all will play with it. But be cautious, don't burn your hands. Things required for this activity are matchstick, tea bag, a bowl to hold up all the tea, and a candle. So let's start. First of all, we'll be removing the thread from this tea bag. And now we'll be removing the stepper. Now we'll be removing this thick paper which is attached to it. Now we'll cut this into two halves. Now we'll be rolling up these two. Now we'll take the matte stick and light up the candle. Now we are going to burn these up and see what's the reaction. Have you seen a paper whirling? So, this is the next experiment. So, for this activity, we'll be needing spiral paper, cloth clip, candle, and a stick. First of all, we'll take this cloth clip and attach the stick to it. And put the candle. Now, we'll be lighting up this candle. The next step is to balance this spiral paper right here. Frictionless worlds, the paper would keep spinning forever and ever. Or at least, until the candle burns out. Do you desire to go on the moon? I wish I could someday. What would be the impact when a meteor falls on the surface of the moon and how are craters formed? Here we'll find all the answers through this one experiment. We will see that what happens when we drop a marble from different heights. For this activity, I have taken a container in which I have poured flour, a scale and also a marble. Now I'll be dropping this marble in a height of approximately 10 cm. So, now we'll be dropping this marble from exactly 8 cm. Let's see, we can measure the width of the hole created by measuring the width of the crater created here. I hope you all have learned something new with these experiments and will try them in your daily lives too. Hence, science can be fun too. Try them out. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.